going on guys? Mike at the Battle Axe, MDOP after like a million years of not being on video. A couple things changed. Uh, I got a beard. Er, it's bigger. It's stronger. It's adding about 15 pounds to my lift. Uh, I saw tan going, so I'm obviously breaking records at the gym because you gotta look tan, you gotta look muscular. I got these shades. Boom. <sighs> Man, I love talking about myself, but let's get real. Uh, I'm here to make a video about... Uh, we're doing a rack pull today um, at the gym. I just wanted to make a video to certain people that either A, have a warehouse gym and just see how they do it, or a couple people that just don't know exactly what it is, kind of simplify it and put in like everyday talk. You're basically deadlifting on a higher area, I guess you can say, or a higher level. Uh, that bar is right below the knee, and you're basically performing a, I like to do a conventional deadlift off of this. The reason why we do this is so that you can perform heavier weights and you can overload train in a sense. You can work different areas of your back, strengthen different areas. And obviously the heavier you can lift, the better your nervous system gets uh, as far as training is concerned. So we're going to do it with chains as well. So just having like a double whammy or a double effect. Dynamic changes, so we're doing a max effort. So, we are going to try to pull this motherfucker uh, once. And for my last uh, people who are just less used to this kind of stuff, maybe a set of three or five, just because to get them to that one level, some of them aren't really ready yet. Uh, so, what we're having is 20 foot chain, um, this is about 20 25 pounds, and then another chain right here that I like with these carabiners right here. See. Anybody who's interested in, in doing this home style, basically you just get a large, I got a large carabiner, I put the chain around a few times. So these are right there. Um, I like it, I wish I had the fatter chains you, know, you see on uh, West Side and Super Training and, and Idol Maker where I train at um, in different places. But this is how we do it at the Battle X because we're ghetto like this. A uh, small carabiner, we just basically do this one more here, and you have this effect, where you went up and you change your weights. Um, that's pretty much it. I am sweating up an insane storm, because even though it's fucking October here, it's still hot. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Our record board continues to grow. Uh, some new names, and some old names taken out, because if you're not here long enough, I get mad at you and take your name off, because I'm a vindictive asshole. No, I'm just kidding. But really, I just take your name off, because if you're not updating it, I can't keep it there. But, um, that's it. And this is just some of the accessory work that we do. I know that I would love to incorporate, obviously, more dumbbell work and some machines, but I don't have them. So I try to do as best as what I can. We're doing a sandbag squat, one arm rows with... I got a heavy kettlebell, sometimes I also do them with heavy bands, face pulls with the bands, uh, fat bar pull-ups, what is that? Very simple, you see that three inch pipe up there, that's what she said, um, you basically do a pull-up off this bitch, way different dynamic because it's tough to grab that, huh, <laughs> look at that guy, not us, huh buddy, not us, right, purse, so anyways, that's what it is, three inches right there. Uh, super, super effective as far as um, grip training, getting your forearms strong, kind of getting that, that rehabbing wrist effect where you're just using so much muscles around your forearm that it works. And I think I was trying to film my hand at the same time, but I didn't do it. I just filmed myself. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm trying to make uh, more videos when I get this goddamn iPhone so it's compatible with my iMac. Then I'll make all sorts of sexy shit with soundtracks and everything. But until then, we'll keep on the shitty uh, droid that looks like I film my videos with a potato. So, uh, guys, keep writing, keep asking questions, keep everything posted. Um, thank you so much. Cheers.